What's going on, dudes? First thing I fixed uh, for this episode with the um, help of my um, friend, Mr. Zio, I believe his name is on YouTube, 007. Uh, he helped me fix my texture pack, so now it works perfectly fine. So, um, I thought, why not make a sole purpose for this series? Because right now I'm just making, like, cool things. So, I was thinking, why not make a weapon factory as their sole purpose? Sorry, that was just my friend on Skype. Oh, let me just click that I'm offline. Real face, like. Um, offline, alright, good. Now we can't annoy me. Even though he's not annoying me. Okay, um... Yeah, uh, also what I wanted to show you guys here, um, I forgot to film this, but I made a rolling machine, which is pretty simple to make. I'll even show you the recipe, look. Rolling machine, this is it, is the crafting bench for, um, a railcraft, so, yeah. Okay, so let's, actually we can make the goddess ring and, uh, whatever other ring was called. Alright, so this is the zero ring, which basically turns everything around you into snow. Which is kind of awesome if you ask me. And if you left click with it, it throws snowballs. So uh, let me demonstrate out here. We open this and bam, 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 bam. Oh, were you trying to shoot me, skeleton? Die, skeleton. Die, skeleton. Don't try to shoot me. Do you know who I am? I'm the man that throws snowballs. Oh yeah, start running, start running. How could you shoot me behind me? That's just some pro skills, man. You should be in the Olympics. Why is it taking so long to kill you? By the way, the Sonic Screwdriver has, doesn't have the abilities that it would in the series of Doctor Who. But it is pretty awesome. Alright, let me try and kill this Enderman with one hit. What? Where'd you go? Oh, hi, Enderman. No, put the block back! Put the block back! Put the block back! Put the block back! Oh, uh, I see how it's gonna be. I know you don't take a rage attack. Oh. Oh, yeah, I just turned this into snow. Alright, so the next ring is the goddess ring, which we need red flowers for. I was gonna just go search for them. So, alright, let's click crafting. Uh, basically, what you do is you do that. And I do have to go back into the house right now, because I freaking forgot to bring out uh, two more dark matter for this. Um, red matter and dark matter. Let's take use out. Um, iron band in the middle. Uh, four saplings, either kind doesn't really matter the type of sapling then that and that and that order yep the harvest goddess ring we will use this to make a uh, ring of arcana but I actually do not know what this does does this like have bone meal basically on it I've got no idea anyway who cares we're just gonna use it to make our um Okay, uh, build a zero. Oh, snap. Why did it do that? Oh, hold up. Let me close my door for a sec. Sorry, it was getting really annoying. It was just slapping the entire. Oh, did you guys just see that spawn? That wasn't that cool. Cool little experience when I leave to close the door, isn't it? Alright. So we built a zero ring, we built a goddess ring, now we're going to build an arcana ring. Let me just drop these signs in here. Alright, so um, basically how you build an arcana ring is super simple, but you have to use, you have to use, um, what's it called, red matter. So let me go get some red matter. Um, right here. 
Um, oh, sorry, that was the wrong thing. Let's get our Philosopher's Stone out. So what you do is you combine your Zero Ring, your uh, Ring of Ignition, uh, your Swift Swift Wolf's Rending Gale, and the Harvest Goddess Ring. And then you fill in the rest of the... Um, uh, the rest of the place with red matter. And it obviously doesn't matter which order you put the rings in. And I got these two back for some reason. Even though they're in the ring of Arcana. So when you click C, it changes color to change for each one of the rings. So let me just drop it in. I'm going to drop it into the extras ring, these, these two, because I don't need them. I got my freaking ring of Arcana. Alright, so that's pretty cool for it. Alright, so I was thinking, let's um, build Ring of Arcana. That's done. Okay, start working with Rail Clef. We kind of did that, but we're still not that far into it. Okay, uh, make a weapon factory. Uh, I'm going to build that off camera, but I thought let's build our um, first gun for our Tekken series. So. I don't know their names though, so I'm gonna have to search it up here. Alrighty. Come on. Alright, here we go. Uh, we're going to uh, build a musket with bayonet or a musket. Let's build a musket though first. It's pretty simple, it's just two sticks like that for that. Oh. Sorry. And then for that, uh, alright, that's pretty simple too. Let me grab some uh, flint, which I believe I put in here. Alright, got the iron we need. Do I have the wood I freaking need? Alright. So, it was like so, like so, and like so. Let me look it up again. Musket. Oh, it's two sticks. I knew that. I knew this, guys. Don't be, don't, don't you be telling me what to do. What to do, girl? What to do? All right, we made a musket. It kind of sounds cool. We made a musket. I don't know how we make its bullets, though. That's kind of weird, though. To make. All right, so we made that. Musket. Um, crossbow. I'm gonna just look up bullet. Let's see what we come up with. Uh, how about I type in what's the name of this musket? Musket round. Here we go. How to make that? Paper, gunpowder, and iron. I got the. Alright, uh, gunpowder, orgasmic, let's get some sugarcane going up in here. Alright, um, uh, let me, oh, do that. Three pieces of paper, boom, that, and then three pieces of iron. Alright, so that makes us 24 rounds. Alright. How do I use this now? Huh? I don't get this. I ain't getting this, girl. How do I use this? Alright, I think it's good now. I don't understand. Can you guys leave in the... Oh, I understand now. See? Boom! How much did that waste? Oh, just one. Wow. That's kind of a lot. How do you make it with a knife, though? Oh, you just put in an iron knife. Which we actually did make, didn't we? Um, hold up. It's in, um, the tools chest, I believe. Oh, by the way, the diamond, um, sword has got this really cool add-on. If you look on the, um, like, right area place where I'm holding it. Instead, what it used to have, like, with the vanilla, uh, BD texture pack. This is what the spear looks like, and that's, I made an emerald pickaxe just to see how it would look like. Alright, so that, plus our musket, I used it. It needs to be brand new, doesn't it? 
Yep. So, um, this has basically been this episode, guys. Um, it's been fun. Um, I'll see you next episode. Bye.